as you guys can tell it's an absolutely beautiful day in derby there's not going to be a whole lot of dirt work going on but we're going to take advantage of this opportunity get above a dump in the shop see if we can get a few more things fixed Here's the first question. What? Think it'll fit? You measured. It's gonna be tight. <laughs> we got two options. You backing it in or we got, backing we it got in? two options. Either shove the sardine in the can or work in the rain. Sardine's going in the can. Let's try it. Oh boy. Well, let's see what happens. The tape measure says it should just barely fit. But uh, until we actually go shove her in the hole. We really don't know. All right, turn a little bit towards the house, out of the way. There you go. A little more, turn a little more. Looking good. All right, straighten her up a little bit. You have to watch your, uh, watch your mirror on that door up there. And I have zero mirror, it's all you now. All right, straight on back. Cut her back the other way a little bit. Other way, other way, other way. There you go. Straight on back. All right, cut it the other way. Other way, other way, other way, other way. There you go. You got all kinds of room behind you. Yeah, you Keep on the camera. Keep on the camera. Keep on the camera. Mr. Millennial, we got all kinds of room. Oh, what you're worried about, and you want to measure. We could we could walk all the way around this thing. Heck, we can have a we can have a line dance country party in here. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but everybody keeps saying I need a bigger shop. I need a bigger shop. You know what I gotta say to that? It fits. I'm very thankful for the shop I have, and uh, last I checked, it's inside. So. Well, don't you consider this the biggest piece of equipment you have other than now, 53? Now, on the flip trailer? side, if somebody wants to finance a bigger shop for free, I'll be more than happy to build one. Absolutely. <laughs> but uh, it is nasty out there, and it is nice and dry in here. So, you guys seen this in the previous videos. The biggest issue we had at the time was brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Millennial had a little incident on the way here. You want to explain? Well, I was the operator, and it broke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can explain. <laughs> it was one of those, man, we're getting right along just fine. Chunk, 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 crap, what is that? So on the, uh, on the way here, we actually drove this thing from the lot up to here, which is about two miles, three miles. It decided to chuck the drive shaft clean out of it. So I'm not 100% for sure what we got going on there, but uh, it don't look the best. So what, uh, what we want to tackle is we got a couple couple pressing issues uh the brakes number one I'd like to figure out what's going on with the lockers uh so we can get true six wheel drive out of this and um what else? oh drive shaft there's something else i wanted to work on while i was here i then forgot I don't know. we got uh, air valve we got an air valve to replace we got some random parts oh the axle seals 
Uh, with the weather keeps staying persistent, and since we got this thing in the shop, we may go ahead and try to uh, tackle at least one side of these axle seals, kind of see what we're getting into there. I actually had a guy reach out to me. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel and he's on Instagram called MLH Repairs. And he used to work on a bunch of these trucks and he had some spare parts. And uh, he's shipping all that down here to me. He had some axle seals, he had some brake parts. Uh, and he's got a whole lot of knowledge, so it's nice to have a phone number. So anyways, I say first things first, do you want to try to um, yank that tire off there? Yeah, we'll just pop right off the hand. Ooh, it's just like, an eight, just like an eight leg Chevy, we'll just get it right out of there. That's a little guy. You want to hear my thought process? I do. Is we got that little J hook we built for removing trusses. Oh yeah, this thing I set up. Oh yeah, that thing right there. I wonder if we can just hook that in the rim right there. I'd probably recommend putting a strap. I don't know if we need to. I think it'll stay. Well, we're wagering this early in the morning. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I mean, between pulling the drive shaft out in the rain on the side of the county road and uh the almost bath i got from the water you've got to dump out of the bed before you pulled it in the shop there is a significant lift there i ain't there scared is a chance. i ain't scared let's do it let me take this off well hopefully hopefully we got enough impact to uh get this off here oh i think we have enough impact you ready it's just it could be 20 years since these things have been. <laughs> i don't think it's been that long <laughs> Yeah, that's probably one of the better tires on the truck right there. That's pretty good. Got your man pack here. Oh yeah. Uno. I got a dream. Sweet. All right. I guess it's a good time to figure out how to get her jacked up now. Yeah. All right, Matt's got all the lug nuts off. I got this not super sketchy jack set up going here. I think once we get the tire off, we'll probably, uh, or do you want to get some jack stands underneath it before we even get the tire off? I think so. It's a good idea, wasn't it? Decided to make some better decisions this morning and go with a little better jack setup. <laughs> Mostly because the other jack wouldn't lift it. So. <laughs> We're going up. Let me know if you can see it come off the ground. Go off the ground. I'm gonna have to go up a little bit farther enough to get this jack in. Oh. I'm gonna go up a little bit farther to get one more notch. Right. It looks like that thing's heavy or something. I know. Come on. Is it gonna go? Oh, come on. There we go. You ready for snap, crackle, pop here? Yeah. Coming down. Like it's nothing. Still have an inch and a half clearance. Sweet. You know one thing we may have failed to mention? What's that? Why are we even pulling the tire off? Because you want to. <laughs> no, it's not because I want to. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. So, if you guys remember from the previous video, this brake caliper right here is leaking very badly and there's no way to rebuild that without taking it off the machine and to get it off the machine we gotta take the tire off so all right you ready to see if this system works this is you know what worked really well <clears throat> do we got two of those did you build two of those i don't remember we're just gonna go for it. I mean, we still go? have a lug nut on there. Oh, we still got a lug nut on there? Well, that's an issue. Yeah. Luckily, it didn't pull on it hard enough for it. Trapped it. It's all yours, big boy. All right, let's uh, let's just stand back far enough for <laughs> the flops. I'm standing back. I'm 
Sort of. Kind of, sort of. Easy, Cheetah. to go. Three quarters, kick it again. Well. Hey. There it is. Yeah, well, that tire is definitely heavy. Just had to push it to the limit, didn't you? <laughs> If we'd have had a strap on there, oh, all we needed was a strap on. That's all we needed. We got the tire off. I did. Now what? <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> so Let's just start taking bolts off of it. All right. So this is the rotor. There is two brake pads in here. This is a disc brake setup. Now, if you push push that on the brake pedal, air pressure pushes on the hydraulic master cylinder, which we'll get back into later. It puts pressure on this line. That line puts pressure on two pistons in here. Those two pistons collapse these uh yada 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 things brake pads in there and that's what makes the whole thing go and stop supposedly hopefully well how's it go <laughs> <laughs> you did it to the twice just for the heck of it apparently this thing was rebuilt 03 of something we can't read the rest of it um looks like a two i think that was 2002 or uh, 2012. that looks like a straight line to me so, so 2012 this. Um, so basically what we need to do is we need to get this caliper off here. I don't know. Looks like you think it's these great big three bolts. Yeah. I mean, we need to look at the parts breakdown on that. See what we got. Somehow that caliper has to float and slide on there. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh yeah. Can't be that. That's definitely it. You should have uh, went outside in the rain and pressure washed this thing off for us. I don't know what you didn't do that for. All right. Uh, do we read the parts book or do we just- No, we take six take bolts out. out. That's good. I wish I had a service manual for this thing. I do have a parts book, but I don't have a service manual. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to afford a service manual. That'd be nice. Okay. Hey, I tried to stair fix it and it didn't work. So I think we're gonna have to get the no tools out. Fixing. We don't have any big enough Allen wrenches. Oh, yes, we do, buddy. Not in here. Oh, yes, we do. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, see, they weren't in there, like I said. You said we didn't have any. I didn't in say where they were at. In there. Let's try these. Let's try these. They go on ratcheting tools. I'm just trying to find out what's on You can't tell a millennial anything. Uh, Make sure you're in there, good. I'm not gonna hit my head on it. Hey. That's going well. That's not what. You just gotta be a man. Oh, here we See go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Let's gonna bite. That's gonna bite me in the butt. Here, I right? sure hope so. The other thing is, you wanna make sure you got full engagement with your uh, full engagement. Allen chair. See how easy that is? I just come right off. I didn't even pre loosen that one. That one there was real life. You ready? Yep. Oh, that one there. Oh yeah. All right, let me get your side done now that you couldn't do your side. You got this little fancy thing in the way over here. Oh, see how that works? Yeah. I like the fact that you're using a totally different breaker bar. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. so that last one. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. What's that? That last one's gonna be a, a doozy. Yeah. Do I have to get an Allen, actual Allen wrench for that? Engineer strikes again on that one, boys. All right, let's switch over to the ratchet and we'll figure out how, what we're gonna do there, I guess. It wasn't too bad. Did get the last one busted loose there? Yeah, it worked out all right. All right, I guess we'll finish pulling those bolts out of there and see if we can get that thing lifted off there. Mr. Millennial, I got a thought. I don't think these caps have to come off because I think the piston will come out the other side. But I wonder if we shouldn't go ahead and bust them loose now because it's going to be a whole lot easier to do it here on the truck than it will on the machine or on the bench. If it doesn't come out, then at least they'll be broken. Yeah, at least they'll that. be loose. So, all right, let's see. We may have cheated. We've already got this one loose. Let's see if we can get the other one loose. Here, I'll switch you. I got my uh, metric pipe wrench out here. Yeah. Hit. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Good thing you stopped before that. I don't know if I want to bust that bleeder off. All right, at least now we got the option if we need it. Cool. Finish taking our bolts out. We'll throw this thing up on the bench. I think so. I don't think we need the pry bar. All right, see what you got there. Got to figure out the best way to grab a hold of it without bending myself. Oh, no pry bar, huh? I don't need, I need your pry bar. Take, you just keep your pry bar to yourself. I don't want your pry bar, he said. You ready? I guess. Me and my pry bar, I got you here. Ready as I'll ever be. Oh, how's that? Is it light? I don't like nothing. <laughs> Why is your face red? You got my new shirt dirty. I did, that did. All right, let's see what we got here. Man, after looking at that thing, shoes look good. Somebody's put all new seals in it, but you can definitely tell this one right here, that one piston right there is the one that's leaking for some reason. The real question is, are they shoes or pads? I'll give you pads on this one. <laughs> shoes go on drums, pads go on this. So. I do, uh, I just want to point that out. I guess we need to pull the slides off the end. This is what allows the shoes, pads, to float. And then uh, Mason told me the best thing to do is just put a two by four in there and hit that little bit of air. And he said that two by four is enough to keep them come flying at you. And uh, pop those pistons out of there. At least pop that piston out and see what's going on. Huh. It's definitely in this one it's leaking. It's definitely wet. Well, let's take right. some bolts off. We've got four bolts. Definitely nothing wrong with them. You want to slide that one over and take it out? Or? Uh, take that one out too. Okay. Uh, so we can get our two by four in there. All right. Yeah, there's no doubt that's the, that's the problem child right there. I guess the question is, why is it our problem child? Cause heck, they look new. Yeah, pistons even look new. Interesting. Hmm. All right, I guess let's see if we can pop it out of there. All right, so here's what we're gonna attempt to do. I didn't have two by four, sorry. Yeah, I think the inch and a half. We put that down in there. I put air pressure on this. It should pop those pistons out to it. You guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. All right, here we go. Whoa, there's one, there's two. Now what? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Cause the other two, I guess you gotta pull these the rest of the way out and then Hit it again. Well, I can't because it'll be wide open. There's that one. Oh. Don't look too bad. Okay, I'll put a rag over here for you. Not the cleanest, but better than the table. That one's got a little bit of garbage on them. The seals are actually down in there. All right. How do we get the other side out now? No oh boy, hold on, let me get a piece out there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right, well, we got half of them out.
All right, we put these two pistons back in because we can take these caps off and knock them out if we need to. Let's see if that other side will pop out now, you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one. one. There's the other one. That's our problem, child. All right. Get us a clean rag and lay these out so we don't mess them up. Piston don't look bad, it's just got a bunch of junk in there. Piston looks really good, actually. <clears throat> There's that one. I think you should try it anyway. See if it'll blow them out? Uh-huh. Gotta hold that bullet over get... tied up against them little holes. Might get lucky. Oh yeah, hold on. Let's not use my fingers for that. <laughs> the piston's gonna come flying out there, maybe. No, we don't have enough air. No luck. The C clamp, what do you think? We can knock them out. Alright. Just gotta take these out. That one? There's that one. So I think I may have found the problem. Broken O-ring? Look at this. That's part of the O-ring. Huh. So you see that? That is our issue right there. All right, let's get this cleaned up and we'll uh, start putting it back together. All right, Mr. Lenny, let's see if we can get the light shined on this just right. This is the O-ring that goes around that seal. Can you guys see? Pull your light back a little bit, a little bit far. There's a huge piece of that missing. Like this piece right here, it's supposed to be right there like that. I think that is the biggest issue with our leaking. If I had to guess, that probably happened or they rebuilt this master cylinder or this, um, what is that? Caliper. As soon as they rebuilt that caliper, they probably uh, gouged that off there and everybody slid the piston back in there. And it's probably been leaking or not working ever since it's been on the truck. So Matt has taken the actual caliper over to the parts washer. He's gonna get it cleaned up real good. I'm gonna go through, clean up all these pistons real good. I think we're actually gonna reuse all the seals in that thing except for the one because the rest of them look like they're brand new. And I don't see no reason why wasting a whole rebuild kit on that. I do have one rebuild kit right here. So we got, uh, should have some extra parts. Let me get this stuff cleaned up. Matt's going to get, uh, Matt's going to get his stuff cleaned up and we'll get this thing reassembled. All right, Mr. Melinda, we got everything cleaned up. I'm beginning to think we have substantial evidence that whoever worked on this thing last, <laughs> um, Got a little aggressive. May not have been qualified mm -hmm. to rebuild a brake caliper. Are you? Well, I don't know if I'm qualified, but I'm more <laughs> qualified than the last person. I promise you that. So, we got our new seal kit here. We're going to try to get it down in there. We got the backer ring, O ring. We'll put the backer ring in first or the O ring in first? Well, the backer ring goes in the front, so. Yeah, so we put the O ring in first. Did take a. Did take, get the camera lighting situation yeah, right here. We did take a wire brush and. Uh, Make sure we got that groove cleaned out real good. Sometimes you can get debris down that groove and it'll leak around the back side of it. There's the O-ring in. The back of ring's always more fun. Because it's flat. Well, I don't have the, the give. Kinda gotta walk it in there. Eventually she'll pop. Come on. I can't see. Oh, got a pucker. Don't crease it. Ooh. I get my finger in there. Oh, look at that. My hand goes through the hole. <laughs> Come on, baby. You know you want to go. these old 
of dust seals because I don't see no reason not to. These things here just keep the debris out of that main seal. You don't think we should at least put, replace the one that was leaking to put all new seals in the one that was leaking? I mean, if you want to, I guess, but. You're either gonna have an extra dust seal or not. Everything else, you will have the entire kit for three more holes, right? I don't know why you're trying to be rational this morning. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? No, I don't. I'm putting it in just because I... Oh my gosh, just to disagree. Imagine I that. Am. Oh man. Come on, monkey in a cookie jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my thumb don't quite work that direction. Oh, well, we got her started. Ah! I think they designed that hole around my hand size back in the day. Sure. Cause I tell you what, they got a tight tolerance on that. Does that make you feel good if they did? If so, then they did. Come on. So close. Give there we go. Look at that. All right. You guys get the idea. Let me get another three dust seals in and then we'll slide the pistons in. Lubing her up before you slide her in the hole. I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not, but I'm going to put just a just the ever so slight little dab of grease on there. That way, hopefully, whenever that thing starts down in there, which way does it go? That goes out, don't it? Mm -hmm. uh, what? Which way it goes out? This goes in. It goes in. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I mean, where did he beat on it at? That would mean that's the side he was hitting on, right? I'm just trying to think. Here it comes the rationality again. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this back in there. There's that O-ring. Yeah, it's definitely a tight fit. I want to make sure I go in square. Oh, we, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Oh, so yes. Why in the heck was a punch or whatever he used ever used on it? I don't know if you guys can see the face of that. Somebody has, I don't know if you can see it down, it's down in there. But somebody literally drove that thing in with a hammer. It's not the one you have. This one here is the same there way. Look at that. Yeah. That's crazy. You just push that in with your fingers. I know. If you get it right, it'll go in like that. Hmm. Interesting. If you get it right, it'll slide right in. It's, it's crazy how that works. <laughs> That works in more ways than one in life. Now you just made me grease the wrong end. <laughs> you, definitely, you definitely don't want to grease Is the wrong end. Is this one of those situations where you grease just the tip? Is that what you're yeah, saying? No, I, yeah, no. <laughs> this is going nowhere fast. It's going nowhere fast. Now I got a mess. Look what you have done. All right. Easy does it. Kind of got to wiggle her to get her started. And once you get her going, you can just kind of proceed with penetration. Drive her home once you Good rock night. it back and forth, right? I'll tell you what, we better be careful. We may turn out being brake mechanics for us, though. Nope. Now, this is going to be the second time you've said professional in a week. This, this got to stop, yeah, Mr. Simon. Uh, well, if anybody watches my channel, they know I'm working professional. <laughs> I'm surprised it's raining so hard. I'm surprised you guys can't hear it here in the shop. I'm just thankful we're not out there working in it. This is true. Well, we did it first, remember? Oh, yeah. I had a little drive shaft at you. All right. You ready? Coming in through from this side. All right. Get a good view of it this way. Get her good and evened up. Now, what I don't want to do... Oh, that's going to be the one that's going to be a problem now, huh? No, you just had to wiggle it. Oh, easy now. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. All right. One more to go. That's definitely an aftermarket. Absolutely. They tried to save metal there. See how much difference uh -huh. that has. I don't know if it really matters, except I got my more brake fluid now, but. Right. Nice. All right. I think we will go ahead and replace that O-ring. It looks pretty toasty. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Huh? Huh? 
the question is, do you remember which side the uh, hose went on? I do, do you? I got video, I'll have to go back and watch. Don't sure. have to go back and watch. Which, is this one, is it that one? Nope. Then it must be this one. Yep. I knew it, I was just checking to see if you are right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, let's clean that up. Sure hope you got this right. There ain't no hope, I know. We'll, uh, we'll leave them kind of loose, that way we can change them once we get them over there, but I, I hate to admit it, but I think you are right. I think that is the right way. All right, so there's that. Next thing, put our brake pads back in. This one went on this side. And this one goes on the other side. Does it really matter? Well, I got a They're wear... symmetrical, right? Well, I got a wear pattern on that rotor, trying to save that wear pattern. And then, <coughs> this shit goes. I call two letters on that one. And those letters are BS. Well, it's supposed to work. Wear pattern my butt. And then this one goes over here. Maybe. No, no. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I know. You better You're work faster. Hungry? Oh, about. easy. All right. Where's our impact at? Right here where I left it. Sweet. Your hose is down there where you threw it. Here's the question. Do we want to try to bench test this with... I guess we can't really bench test it with air because... Not unless you want to pry it back out. Well, we have to get these tightened down. What do we always say, DP? I ain't going nowhere. And go big or go home. No bench test. No bench test? No bench test. Don't want a bench test. Nope. That looks good. It does look good. Now All let's right. go make sure it doesn't leak. I'm not qualified to uh, carry this over. There, yeah, so you're know. not, sissy boy. Let's, uh, I do want to put some anti-seize on those boats, I believe. You know where it, it went? Really yeah. <laughs> Probably in a cabinet over here. Let me see, look over here. Is this it? Yep, that'll work. Oh, this is a good expensive stuff. Yep. Oh, now put that uh, away, Aaron, what, before you what, get it all what? over there. Get it back. Put it, put the brush on the just thing. Stop. You're the one moving it everywhere. I was going to put it on the bolt. You're going to make an absolute mess. Put the brush I'm back in there. I'm going to put it in the hole. <sighs> We've had nothing but insertion today with the piston. So. Hard to find good help, I'm telling you. Hard to find good help. Are these the right bolts? They are the right bolts. Oh, we're dripping. See, and you're making, I told you to put the brush away. Nobody listens to me though. Hey, I found my phone I was looking for a while ago. Yeah, you did. All right. Hey, I'm gonna give you a little word of advice here. I would suggest watching your fingers as you go down on there. Here, let me help you. This looks like- Oh, a, you actually wanna this help, looks like a trip huh? to, This looks like a trip to the emergency room. thinking you can hold this chunk here and it's not going to interfere with it. Well, can we kind of sit that down on there and then just rotate it around? Yeah. Hold on. Ready? Yep. Oh, hold on. I'm going to pry them open. You got it? Oh, it went. A little bit. There we go. Like a glove. Get yours started? Yeah, I think so. Well. All right, you got the caliper all back on. You got the brake line all hooked up. We're gonna bust this bleeder loose right here. 
and uh, I said we just let that one kind of gravity feed for a little bit. Should suck some gravity fluid. Gravity feed or gravity bleed? Gravity feed, gravity bleed. Let's uh, let's call that one good for now. While that's bleeding out, let's jump up there and uh, see if we can get the master cylinder on that back back one. Round two. All right, Mr. Molino, we are back to our master cylinder and our booster. If you remember in the previous videos, you lived it in real life. You don't have to remember yeah. the video. We were leaking out of here. And I don't have, you gotta remember whenever I bought this truck, all this stuff was missing. So I don't really have anything to go off of. I got the other one up there, but I really don't wanna take it completely apart. They had two problems. One, we were having a hard time getting it bled. And two, whenever we pushed the brake pedal all the way down, it was leaking fluid out the back of the booster here. And something is not jiving right. And what I'm trying to explain, it's, it's gonna be almost impossible to show you guys here, but hold the light there, Mr. Millennial. If you guys look down in here, you got two holes. This small hole right here, I need a pointer. I need a pointer. We got a pointer, I got a pointer. Here's we a got pointer. A pick. So this small hole right here is what allows the oil to bleed down through here and basically keep everything full. This bigger hole back here is the piston moves forward. It'll actually let the fluid come through faster. So if it needs some fluid, it can grab it real quick and keep going. And basically this piston back here is what pushes forward. So if this piston is held forward just a little bit like that right there, it actually slides forward and blocks off this hole and will not let the oil go through, which is why we couldn't bleed it. Now, if you push this piston all the way down and bottom it out, it actually goes past that hole and that passage right there opens up to this cavity back here behind the piston. I can't, I, it's impossible to get a camera in there to really show you guys, which allows the oil to bleed back through here. So basically what our problem is, it's the first time in my life that my shaft's too long. <laughs> I don't know, we tried to thread on this to see if it's adjustable. Uh, it don't seem to be adjustable. I double checked, triple checked, quadruple checked all the part numbers. They all seem, these two are supposed to marry up and be happy together. I don't know why they're fighting. And you even tried to remove that tip. I tried to remove the tip, see if we can do anything from there. So I don't really want to cut this tip off here because down in that hole, it's machined to match that. We need, I don't know, a heavy eighth inch. Call it 3 16th. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually just going to put a couple washers in there, shim that thing back just a little bit, and uh, see if that corrects our problem and see what it does and go from there. If you guys know something I don't know on this, please comment down below and let me know because I don't know why these two don't like each other, but they sure don't like each other. 1264, let's get it. 1264. 1264 is what we need. It reminds me of a story. <laughs> You gotta find this hard to believe. We bought a trampoline one time and it came from China. Oh boy. And the instructions said you need an 8 16 wrench. Never could find one in my toolbox. I bet not. <laughs> All right, let's bolt this up with some shims in there and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so we blew some air down through this hole. It's still open to here which means our fluid should bleed through. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put some air pressure on this. Matt's gonna watch that big hole and make sure the piston don't go past it. You ready? Ready. Here we go. Full extension right there. Yep, still goes past it. Still goes past it? I can see the rubber seal, but I can't see any metal behind the rubber seal. Let's put it this down. time. Y'all see how that, do that again, Mike. I'll make sure everybody can see. Watch the big hole. You can see shiny metal on the bottom of it there. Go ahead. You guys will see it turns black. That's the rubber O-ring that uh, Mike is thinking is allowing fluid to bypass into the booster. Do you want to eyeball it while yeah, I, I make it move? Yeah, I want to see it. Yeah. Because if, if the seal don't come all the way past, it may be all right. Before I could see metal behind the seal. Now I can only see I mean, seal. in theory, in normal operation, it should never get that deep. A lot of theories going on, though. Ready? Yeah. Right, hold that. Pull it off. 
Man, I'll tell you what. Let's just throw one more, one more washer in there. And then check it out. We're gonna throw one more washer in there, throw it up in the truck, and see what happens. That's all I know. That's all I know to do. This one's all you. Yeah, I think we should try it before we ship it anymore. So you want to put it back in the truck? It's not that hard. Try it. To take it back out of there if it doesn't work. And we know exactly what fail mode is. Fluid comes out yeah, of the drain pipe. So. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Obvious. <laughs> I'm not completely against it because if we can get this thing bled up, a piston should not move maybe a half or three quarters of an inch. We shouldn't need full stroke out of it. So if it will, if it will not leak. It's too long, you don't need full stroke. Where are you going with this, man? This video is going down the tubes. <laughs> down the tubes, I tell you. All right. There you go, again, down the tubes. <laughs> so all you safety Nazis, we got the uh, bed double chained off back there. So hopefully nobody will be getting smashed in the making of this video. I'm gonna climb up in yonder there. I guess we're gonna try to get this thing, uh, try to get this thing in there and we'll see what happens. Which way do you need it? This that way? way? Yeah, no, that way. Got some bolts. Oh, goodness. Uh oh. What? So we may have something wrong here, folks. Did we clock it wrong? Oh, nope. We're putting it in backwards. That's the problem. Uh, you gotta put it in the right way. Everything makes more sense. Yep. I think I missed the hole. Your shaft's too long and I'm missing the hole. All right. Oh, you're, you're, now you're going in crooked. You ain't going to be happy with it. <laughs> Let me have it. Got it? Maybe. What the world? There we go. Got it. Nailed it. I need to get my button off the dash of the truck that guy gave me. The easy button? No, he gave me a nailed it button. Oh. All right, wrench. Oh yeah, I haven't got that yet. I crawled up in here to help. All right, we get our reservoir on. Hang up, see. I'll we'll fall off my bucket here in a minute. Were you wanting to loosen it that much before you try to tighten it? Yeah, you know, trying to make sure I get my wrench in there. That's tight. Come on, buddy. Ow! Do you need to customize it? No. Got it. Alright. The only thing we got left to do now is put our hose on. You got a, a hose and a wrench? Right there next to you. With the wrench? Well, I thought you had it. Is that a different size? Uh, yep. Probably 16 or 17. All right, everything's on. Let's top her off with fluid. See if I can do this without spilling it everywhere. It'd be a lot easier if it didn't have that little screen on top. Cheating. All right, get that on there loose. We're gonna take, bust these bleeders loose 
I'm just gonna let him sit here and gravity be bleed for a little bit, see what happens. Well, that's going down. We got one other thing we're gonna try to address. So this valve right here is what I call a relay valve. So basically whenever you push the air pedal, the brake pedal down the truck, it puts air on this line, opens this valve up, allows air to come out of this tank and go to this master cylinder or air booster and also go back there to that one. And this thing is leaking quite a bit. I tried to get a new one, but this is like some goofy metric valve from Sweden or something. So I got just a generic valve that's used on a lot of semi trailers, I think should work. And uh, I got an adapter to go from metric thread to standard thread. So we may have to do a little bit of finagling, but let's see if I get that on there. All righty. Step one, remove old valve. I got a feeling we got some finagling in our future. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take that to the bench. I'm assuming there's no air in it. I'm sure we would have heard it hiss by now. <laughs> oh yeah. No air. All right, let's take it to the bench, see if we can figure it out. All right, I think we got this thing dressed out the way we need it dressed out. You definitely don't want a naked valve. No, needs to be dressed. Thread her back in there, and we'll see if we can get her all. Thread tape on that? No, because it's got that's an oh, O-ring seal. That's the O-ring I asked if you wanted to replace. You said no, so when it leaks, I'm going to always remind you that you said no, and we have to remove all these lines too. If that O-ring leaking, o -ring leaking is the only issue we have when we go to work on these brakes, <laughs> I will be tickled to death. But I know how the infamous drives you nuts. So this is true. All right. Let us get... Uh, Did we decide to leave all those wrenches over there? No, I got them. This is the important one you need right here. Ugh. Now what are you going to do? Get your valves upside down. Well, we still have some room to tighten it there, yep. don't we? Yep. Ah! Oh yeah, he man. Don't give up on me now. I gotta figure out how to get it to bed. It's going well. No, it's not. <laughs> I think right. my face is really red on that one. Well, let us get that rotated and get all the airlines hooked back up on this thing and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Voila. Just like that, we got a perfectly new installed uh, air valve. Wasn't too bad. Yeah. Took a little bit of a nail, but it worked out pretty good. We are bleeding out back here some. We're not quite bleeding out as much as I would like. I think we need to put our little uh, suction cup thing on there. Suck some brake fluid through and uh, fingers crossed boys. Let's see if she works. Your arms tired yet? Are your forearms burning? I don't feel a thing, camera's pretty light. All right, set of running the truck in the shop and fuming ourselves out. We're just gonna hook shop air into this thing and uh, see what happens. You got a regulator on it so we don't overfill it. I think you got it hooked up backwards there, Biggin. Oh, I can't see the gauge if I put it the other way unless I look at it upside down. Imagine that phone call. I hear it filling. Gave up on using shop air. It's got some sort of check valve in between. It wouldn't fill the back tank, which wouldn't actuate the back brakes. So we just uh, went ahead and went old school. So that's going to hit the brakes in there. We're going to see. If... That's going to hit the brakes up there. We're going to see if we can get the air out of here. Well guys, I thought we had stuff going our way. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, we have another brake caliper, absolutely puking brake fluid. So we're gonna have to get that one pulled out of there, see what's going on with it, get it rebuilt. And hopefully, hopefully then we'll have brakes maybe. I don't know, maybe we're just not meant to have brakes. All right guys, I am out of time. I am out of patience. I am out of parts. 
as much as I hate to admit it, I think we're gonna have to admit defeat on this particular video. I will, I promise you, I will get these brakes working one way or another. I was also poking around and I found a few more issues along the brake department. I'm like, huh, I wonder what this random brake shoe is laying down in there. Got to look at it a little bit closer. And that is actually part of the parking brake. And the parking brake was working, but I have no idea how. I don't know if you guys can see up in there how this thing is just wore all kinds of crazy. Somebody has ran this a long time without the shoe being in there. Ruined the caliper. <laughs> look at the backside of this thing. Ruined the backside of the rotor. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna need some work as well. So I think we're on the downhill slide. We did get the middle axle working. The back axle, I think, is one caliper away. <clears throat> we added the parking brake issues. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I'm not giving up. You guys know me well enough. We'll get this done one way or another. But that's gonna be a wrap on this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. <laughs> Make sure you don't miss out on the rest of the chaos on old Bubba Dumper over here. Consider subscribing. That way we can catch you guys on the next one. Later.